Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my review of Bath and Body Works Gourmet Espresso. This particular candle is part of the Made with Love collection, which means that it comes with the super cute um, tin lid that has the crimping on the side there. And um, packaging on these is definitely a little bit more on the cutesy end of things. This particular one is... Um, it's got a sticker on the front it has like burlap, like a piece of burlap, and then obviously the red ribbon, and then the cute little gift tag and a coffee cup. Um, I am kind of a fan of the cutesy packaging. I know it's not for everybody, but it is really easy to remove the labels. <laughs> so if the labels bother you that much, um, they certainly remove pretty easily. So um, I do, however, really like what they did with the lids with the crimping there. I think that that's definitely super cute. Okay, so let's talk about um, this candle. I have had this particular candle lit for, I would say about 15 minutes, and it hasn't even completely, well, just about completely pulled out. There is one tiny little area right here where it hasn't completely melted, but for the most part, you can see that that wax pool is already getting fairly deep. And there are already mushroom tops uh, formed on the wicks. So this is going to be a very hot burning candle. I really have to say that um, for my last few candle reviews that I've done, they have all been total successes. It's actually been a really long time since I've had a Bath & Body Works dud in terms of candles. And um, this one is no exception to that kind of winning streak that um, I've been having. Um, the reason that I was really excited about this particular scent is, uh, one, I just love coffee scents in general. I am a coffee drinker myself, and the smell of it just is very um, homey and warm and just comforting to me. So um, I knew I was going to love it. <laughs> Just based on that. I also knew I would love it because I had a really good feeling that it was basically just a repackage of espresso bar which is right here. I have burned about, um, by the way this is part of the Italian collection, um, I burned probably through six or seven of these espresso bar candles and loved every single one. This is my last backup of it and I was getting really sad <laughs> about them not coming out with some kind of coffee candle again this year. Um, sorry, I'm just smelling the espresso bar right now. Um, but thankfully, they basically came out with a repackage of espresso bar. Now, there are a few minor differences, and we'll talk about those in a minute. But let's talk about the notes in this particular candle. So basically, um, the description on this is rich espresso, uh, delightfully brewed with artisan coffee beans, um, is the perfect complement to the holidays. So really with this particular scent, they're basically saying all that you're going to get is like basically like espresso beans. Um, and I would say that there's definitely just a tiny hint of cream in this as well. It's not a straight up coffee scent. There's definitely a little bit of sweetness to it, but not much at all. Like this is not going to be another one of like the sugary sweet scents. Um, that they typically come out with. Um, it is more of a rich um, coffee scent with like a hint of sweet cream, like a very small hint of it. Now, what is different between the Gourmet Espresso and um, the Espresso Bar is that, um, so with the Espresso Bar, they, um, they said that it had the espresso beans and sweet vanilla froth. And then there was also an odd hint of chocolate. Um, not odd as in I didn't like it, odd as in like there was definitely chocolate in there and they made no mention of it in the description. When I burn espresso bar, really very much one of the main things that I get is the espresso beans, chocolate, and then that sweet cream. So with the gourmet espresso that you're looking at right now, they took out that chocolate element completely. There still is that hint of sweet cream, but it's mostly more of a straight up coffee type of scent. So I'm a little sad that they took out the chocolate note. I know a lot of people didn't care for it with the espresso bar, but I liked it. 
Um, so that's a teensy bit of a bummer, but it's still overall just a really great coffee scented candle. Um, what I will say and what I'm kind of curious about though is when I got to about like the last little bit here with my espresso bar, every single one that I had started to smell um, like burnt coffee. <laughs> and I don't know why that was happening because it was basically perfection until just about a quarter of the candle was left. And then it just turned to like a bitter kind of, I don't want to say like rancid coffee, but it just burnt bitter not so great coffee. So at that point, um, I would kind of stop burning the espresso bar and just call it a day. I mean, it was basically mostly finished at that point anyway. I could probably still get like a few more hours out of it, but it wasn't worth it for me because that rancid, like bitter coffee scent just wasn't something that was appealing to me. I'll be very curious to see if the gourmet espresso does that as well and I will absolutely update you guys um, at the end of the month when I put this in my home fragrance empties video because I'm definitely going to be finishing it up here during the month of November so I will absolutely update you guys on that when we get to that point. Overall um, I'm impressed with this candle. I, I'm sad it's missing the chocolate note but that's okay. <laughs> um, the throw on it is really, really great. I would put it at probably about an eight. So it's pretty strong. Um, again, like for my last few candles that I've burned, I have found the throw to be like really, really amazing. I can definitely smell it upstairs. It smells like, um, like a hint of coffee upstairs. It's not crazy strong, but I can certainly tell that the scent is starting to travel up there. And like I said, I haven't had this candle lit for very long. So... I mean, who knows? It could definitely get a little bit stronger. The wax pool is definitely, it's going to be nice and deep. The mushroom tops are going to ensure that it burns very hot. Um, so that's going to help with the scent throw as well. Overall, I'm pleased and I will certainly be picking up a few more. I only grabbed one so far, but I have um, about <laughs> five more that I'm probably going to pick up once um the big uh, $8 candle sale rolls around. So um, this will certainly be a candle that I stock up on because it's a favorite for me. Um, I would say if you like anything coffee scented, you're probably going to love this. So give it a sniff. It's one of those types of candles that I feel like you almost have to burn it before you really get the true like rich fragrance out of it. Um, on cold sniff, it, it doesn't qual it doesn't smell quite as good as when it's burning. And it's kind of the same thing with espresso bar. I like it on cold sniff, but once you actually light it and let it warm up, like it transforms a little bit. Um, so I think it's definitely worth grabbing at least one to be able to try it, especially if you are a coffee aficionado and you really kind of like that coffee Starbucks like coffee house kind of scent so there you go that is my review of gourmet espresso and um, it's not a direct repackage of espresso bar but it's pretty darn close it's just missing the chocolate note so hopefully you guys enjoyed be sure to leave me any questions down below and I will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye